Hello, my DC fans and comic book fans. I got six more books that you should check out. You want to know what they are? Well, you know what to do. Stick around. This video is sponsored by PGX Grading Services. Get 10% off your first submission by using the code WELOVECOMICS10% on your order form. Link in description. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Chris, and this is my channel, We Love Comics. And I have six more books from the DC edition that I want to share with you. And hopefully you'll find something that you may not have heard about or may have just passed by, and uh, you might find a good deal for it. And like I always say, make sure you wait for a deal. Don't just buy the first one that you see. So this way you don't have any buyer's remorse and the more money you save, well, that's more money you can either pay bills with or get some more comics. So with that being said, let's get into the first book. And before I do, actually, just make sure you wait until the end to see who's the today's surprise subscriber shout out. If you want to be one of those people, all you have to do is be a subscriber and let me know if you want one. Just keep in mind there are a bunch of people that asked. So the first one I've actually talked about before. This is a book I still recommend. Uh, whether the movie comes out anytime soon, I guess that depends on DC and what they're doing. So it is worth to take the chance on. Um, this book has seen a little bit of a drop in price, which is the best time to get a book. And this, of course, is Shazam issue number one. Uh, this is the first appearance of Shazam since the Golden Age. Um, this book, probably you're going to pick up for between the $50 and $75 mark. Uh, this one, as you can see here, I got them years ago, so I got them cheap. I paid $18.77. So I was telling people for years to get this book, and a lot of people waited. So you're going to pay a little bit more, but if you just found my channel now, I mean, that kind of doesn't really help you. But it's still a nice-looking book to get. Try and get it at least a 5.0 or higher. Don't get anything lower than that unless you could find a really good deal. Deal. I mean, to me, this book's probably a 7.5, possibly an 8.0. But for that price, I mean, it could be a 5.0. Take the chance on that book. You'll be happy. All right, for all the Harley fans, this is definitely a book you have to have in your collection. And a quick little honorable mention, I am going to also recommend as a um, bonus the book Mad Love. I can't find it. I got like two copies, but I just couldn't find it. But I wanted to talk about that book as well. That's an early appearance of Harley Quinn. I think it's like her second appearance. Um, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But this is Batman Harley Quinn. Uh, this is a beautiful Alex Ross cover. I, I absolutely love this cover. I probably have about six or seven copies of this book. Hard to get in higher grade because of the fact this is a very thick book. So anytime anyone opened this book, this little indent that goes across here, because it doesn't have the staples on the front, it'll crack, and because of the black cover, it'll show any kind of color crease. So if you can find a 9.8, get it. 9.8 uh, is going to cost you around $300. I happen to have one, still a good price. But this is the first Harley Quinn in the DC continuity. So it's definitely a book to pick up. Um, you're going to pay for this book raw between $75 and $100. Try and get the highest grade possible for that price. And as you can see here, I paid about $87.98, which isn't bad. I have a graded CGC 9.8 of this book, and I have a bunch of other raw books. Definitely worth picking up, especially if you're a Harley fan. All right, this is another big book I talked about years ago. Um, another DC book, absolutely worth taking the chance on. Uh, this is DC Comics Presents, issue number 26. And this is the first appearance of the new Teen Titans. This is a great book to have. I paid $63 for this book. You'll pay anywhere from $50 to $100 for this book. The only weird thing is it's just weird how the Green Lantern is standing, the way he's posing. But, you know, it is what it is. And I'm not a big fan of the Superman artwork here. But, I mean, it's a thicker book. It's going to be harder to get in a higher grade. You're going to spend, like I said, between 50 75 up to 100 for higher grades. Wait for at least a 75 to come your way if you're going to spend around the $75 range. But this is definitely a book worth picking up on. All right, next up. This is another hard book to get. If you could find it, get it. This is Batman issue number 234. This is the first Silver Age appearance of Two-Face. 
Uh, this is a beautiful cover, and uh, probably going to spend about eighty to one hundred and twenty-five for this book in mid-grade. I paid ninety-one dollars for this book. Not a bad price, especially the condition. Um, it's a thicker book, so it's definitely going to be one of those where this could bend forward a little bit. So definitely try and find one that's as flat as possible or one that you can get pressed. Uh, beautiful cover. Art Adams can't go wrong. Another good book to check out. Two more to go. All right, this one, believe it or not, I think is so undervalued. You can get this for a steal. And I'm really surprised at that, considering it's a number one issue. Now, it's not the first appearance of Hawkman, but this is Hawkman number one. Now, here's the funny part. This here, I guess it was, uh, it says H um, G C. well, it's HGComics.com. And they were selling this book for $295. This is the first Hawkman in his own title. And he wrote 1964. I paid... $39 for this book. And I would say this is probably a 4.0 to a 4.5, maybe a 5.0. Now, if you see the images that DC has in their movies nowadays where they show an image of all the characters, you see Hawkman on the side. So I don't think he'll get his own movie. But if they do like a Justice League 2, or maybe it'll be Justice League 3... They might introduce this character, and he's going to be very expensive. Now, obviously, his first appearance is back in the Golden Age, so, you know, good luck, you know, fi trying to find that one cheap. So this is the next best thing. This one is so undervalued. I think if he ever ends up in a movie, like I said, he's not going to be a main character. He's not going to get a solo unless he's so amazing that people ask for it. But he's definitely going to make appearance, and that's going to make this book shoot up in price so you can easily get this book if you search hard enough for under a hundred dollars i currently have two of these issues so keep a lookout for this one and get it if you can especially if you can get it for a steal like that all right last one for this series and we have at least two more videos coming out and i'm doing it every other day to give people a chance to take a you know try and find some of these books but this is definitely a book you want to get now, I didn't show the first appearance because, you know, that's about a five, $600 book, and I don't want to do a lot of books where it's going to be out of people's price range. But this is the next best thing. This is Swamp Thing issue number one. Now, I have the first, I think, 12 to 15 issues, and the only one I was missing for a while was number one, and I just got it recently, only a couple of months ago. Not in the best condition. This is probably a 3.0. It's got a lot of spine breaks. And um, there's definitely a little bit of a folding here and there's some dirt. But still, if you can grab this, get it. Because the Swamp Thing is getting his own TV show. I'm not sure if you know that or not. Now, whether it's going to be good or not, who knows. But anytime a character has their own TV show, people are going to really jump and get this book. Now, The House of Secrets 92 is his first appearance. I mean, good luck if you can get that. You're going to spend anywhere from three to 500 even for a lower grade. So I didn't want to include that one. So if you want me to say it's an honorable mention, then please, if you can get House of Secrets 92, please do. And I was actually fortunate enough to get House of Secrets 92 about two or three weeks before they announced that he was going to get his own TV show. So sometimes it's all about timing. I paid only $29.05 for this book. Um, expect to pay around the $50 to $75 range, probably even higher now that they mention the TV show. But if you can get it at least a mid-grade for under $100, pick it up, because I think this one has potential. And we'll see how the TV show ends up. So far, DC has been pretty good with their TV shows, so hopefully they'll continue with that. So those are the six books for this video. Hopefully you appreciated it, and uh, obviously stick around for the next couple of videos. There's going to be even better comics to look out for. Uh, get your pocketbooks and credit cards ready, because some of them are going to be a little bit more expensive. But sometimes you got to spend money to make money. And that's it. If you liked it and you want to give it a thumbs up, that is amazing. If you want to hit subscribe, that's even more amazing. And if you want to leave a comment, that's even more amazing. A lot of amazing things happening here. And uh, don't forget, wait until the end so you can see who's today's surprise subscriber shout-out. And don't forget, it's not you, it's not I, 
It's We Love Comics. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. I'll see you next video. And doesn't he look like the Hulk when he's got really a bad cold?